How's it going, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, I am here to answer a question, which is, how exactly do you unrack your bench press? No, I'm not very... <laughs> now, this is funny. Today, I was in the gym, and I was supposed to be benching, and it messed me up. This really messed me up, my mental up, right? And I think I need to just take like a little rest period or whatever because I haven't been. I've just been going straight through the cycle and going like and you know benching nonstop, right? Or doing every movement. So I haven't I haven't really taken that D-low a week. And I'm like, fuck it. Why would I? Or forget it. Why would I? I'm sorry. I curse as me. Um. So basically, whereas my I used I could do two fifteen. My bench is the best right now, or never really been the best. But two fifteen for three reps. I was doing, I did 195, I couldn't even hit 195 today, and I was just like, what the, I didn't know what was going on. So, the question is, how exactly do you unrack your bench press? While I'm answering this question for you guys, I'm also answering it for me, because I feel like my unrack, like, I kind of unracked it myself, and I feel like that has something to do with it, I'm always feeling fatigue on my shoulders, and it's not, like, and while my setup is okay, I know that that's having something to do with it, and also the fact that I'm getting like four hours of sleep, and I'm not eating right, and I'm not really doing, like, I'll drink one of these when I go into the gym, and, you know, like, a, a coffee or whatever, like, I'm not really doing the, not treating my body very well, so, that's having, that's showing up in my workout, sleep, I went to sleep like eight o'clock, and went to the gym at like, what time was it, twelve o'clock, or one o'clock, so, which is my fault, like, I know, but it's just having a, an effect on me, so, but yeah, so I looked it up and I did some research and I came across something that basically showed us how or showed me how to unrack the bench press and I wrote about it. So first thing is things I'm gonna talk about are you supposed to brace before you even pick the weight up? I do that. Um you set the rack height high, that's one thing I didn't do. And you push off after everything is done. So after you're done setting up, you push off. Like you lift off and then you press the weight. You don't you don't press the weight, you don't lift off and then try and set up, which is what I kind of like I brace my upper back and my pull, I pull my lat to my shoulders down, but like I'm still kind of loose and I still find myself like moving around the bench when I uh set up. So this actually showed me something. This, I got this from like Mark Bell. Like this is Mark information from Mark Bell, who benches 800 pound plus. I'm pretty sure. And um another guy named who goes by the name of I will mention him in this article because I can't really find it right now and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So first setup matters obviously, and if like you're like me and you, I have a spotter. But I like to unrack myself because the handoff, like, I like to get used to the weight. So that's me. Um, so I wrote about this. And here I mentioned you need to know how to do this and, you know, set up matters. That's two reasons why I wrote about this. And also for me, I need to find out how to do it. Like, what am I doing wrong? Because I know the muscle is there. I know the strength is there. If I can bench 95-pound dumbbells for reps with energy, with shirt or, um, I'm not sure you're in the tank. Uh, gas in the tank still? I know I can do it. That, that, that's bugging me. So, first thing, you keep your elbows beneath the bar, even with your eyes. This basically helps you conserve energy. Um, it's kind of like how when you set up for the deadlift and you keep your your legs, your shins close to the bar. When you bend up, you're supposed to be at, your shins are supposed to be able to touch the bar. It's kind of like that. You don't want to have too much distance because the more distance, the more energy you're using to actually unrack the weight is more difficult. So you keep your eyes level or your elbows underneath the bar, and then when you lift the weight up, it's kind of like right underneath you or right above you, if it makes any sense. Right above where you need to press it. Um, brace before you pick the weight up. I kind of do this, but I don't fully. You want to be tight before you do anything. So you want to have your shoulders. The guy, uh, Mark Bell says you want to have your shoulders in your back pocket. You want to have your shoulders uh, pulled together and down so that you have a, a firm place to push off of. I do that, but there's a few things in here that I weren't, weren't doing, like, um, setting, next thing is, I already talked about setting your shoulders, but then you want to set your, sh um, you want to set your, God, it's bright outside, set both your hips and your elbows, um, I don't really pay attention to my hips, but basically you want to grab the, grab the bar and use the bar to set yourself up, which is not something that I was doing, you grab the bar, lift your hips off of the ground, dig your feet into the ground, and then, as you when you lift the weight up, you set your hips down and getting yourself to you, you already should be in a nice position when you set your hips down because you already have the bar unracked and you're good. Uh, 
and I already talked about setting your feet. The rack height should be high. Obviously, this is not obvious, but it basically um, makes so you're not pressing the weight up before, like before you need to. Cause that uses energy as well. Push the bar up after the after everything else is set. So then you, once everything is set, your hips are set, um, you're tight, all of that good stuff. You push the bar. It's very simple. Our elbows should also be tucked in while we're doing this before the pressing movement is. We start that because you know you're gonna you don't want to. Uh, that's just how we bench press, and I guess you, you're able to get more power when your elbows are tucked in, when they're turned in instead of like out like this, when they're like this instead of like this. It should be like a what is that 30 degree angle or whatever. Um, other considerations you want to keep the safeties and pins in. I have a funny story for you guys. I almost killed myself benching before. I mean, I'm sure everybody's done this, but I was that guy. I had a dude in there that could spot me, but I'm like, forget this, I can do this myself. So I'm benching, and it wasn't much. It was, I think it was like 205 or 195 or something. It was 195. Nothing crazy. I was hitting 195. I did it for like one or two reps, and I knew I didn't have the energy, in, but I went back down for another rep, and it, it, went, it went halfway up, and I got stuck at like mid-chest. So like right here, it was like stuck. Like right here. It was right here. I was pressing it up, and I'm like, oh, forget this isn't going up. Like no amount of force I apply is pushing this up. So I kind of stopped. I was like... Dude, no, you know what I did? I went back down, I let it sit on my chest, and I was like, you know what, I'm about to get this up. I'm about to use momentum to get this up. So I pressed it back up, I did my best to press it up, and then I'm like, there's two, there were two pins, there were two things that I could have put it on. So I'm like, that second one is where I'm going to aim for. So I got one bar on, I pushed, like when I pressed it up, I pushed it up with as much force as I could muster, and then I pushed it backwards, so I put one bar, one end of the bar on one of the pins, and the other bar, I'm like, God, please just let this land on there. It didn't land. And I moved my head at the last second, and the bar, like, was this close to landing on my head. <laughs> With 195 pounds on it, I almost messed myself up. But that's basically why you want to keep safeties in. Even if you're confident that you have the weight, and if you're by yourself, for sure, you no one's there to catch you. So if you mess up, you're screwed. So either you make sure you can get that weight up, or you keep safeties in. I think safety is the best way to go. I um, mean, that's pretty much it. I used a list of resources in the article, so check those out if you're interested or you want to learn more. Um, like and subscribe to the channel for more information, and also check out the book, um, the Black Book of Powerlifting that is already released. It's, I'm going to put a link out to that in the description of the video, and it's also on the site, so just check that out, and you'll be hearing from me again in the near future. Next week, actually, at 12.30 on a Tuesday or Monday. Monday. All right, peace.